His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. I can guarantee you this is something that you will want to see on His Radio TV today. Apple, Roku, the His Radio TV app, hisradio.com, because... With all the many guests that we have that come by his radio, I think this would certainly be a first to have a celebrity raccoon and his human friend Mitchell stop by. That's right. Tito the raccoon. You may be following him him on Instagram, and now he's on his radio. We're so happy to have you guys. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Oh, got the cheese stick. <laughs> oh, he's he's already chowing down on a little cheese yeah. stick treat. Mitchell, first you got to explain how did you find Tito and how did he come to be in your family? So I used to work in pest control, and one of my coworkers was doing his regular routine at somebody's house, and um, the client came out and he was like, "I think I might have a squirrel problem up in my attic," and uh, the our uh, my coworker was like, "We don't actually deal with wildlife, but I'll take a look just in case." and see what I can report back to you on. And um, it turns out it wasn't squirrels, but it ended up being raccoons. And so he was only three weeks at the time. And so um, he was too little to make it on his own. And the homeowner was like, you need to get these things out of here or I'll deal with them myself. And unfortunately, we all know what that means. And uh, so he took them, took the babies back uh, to the office and adopted them out to whoever wanted one. So that's how I got Tito. And and you took one. That's so neat. I understand Tito wants a very special Thanksgiving treat, so we have a gift right off the bat for Tito. Open that right up because I think Tito will want to dig right in. I think he'll like this. Tito, I know you like cheese sticks. Yeah, you like the marshmallows. Marshmallows. All right. (laughs) Well, look at that. Tito is digging right into the marshmallows. That's so cool. How sweet. So what's life been like with a raccoon as a pet? He's definitely high maintenance, that's for sure. (laughs) Um, He likes exploring and stuff like that. But overall, he's been pretty good um, once he... Once he's uh, got used to people and stuff like that, um, I made sure to socialize him uh, from an early age. That way he could deal with people and pets without um, trying to, like, attack them or anything or being too shy and running away. So he's been he's been doing pretty good. Something tells me, Mitchell, that Tito's probably not the only different kind of a pet you have in your home. Yeah, I also have a short-tailed possum. Um, I, <laughs> possum? Yeah. yeah he, they only get, like, five to six inches, so um, they stay pretty small. How did the possum come into your life? Um, there, there are like conventions called like Repticon and things like that, uh-huh. and uh, I got him there. So. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Are you just an animal lover? Yeah, I, I also did like an internship at the zoo and stuff like that, so I have a lot of experience with different animals and stuff. Do you feel a bond with Tito? Yeah, I definitely like him. I've kept him around. He's so high maintenance, you almost kind of have to. <laughs> I wish you could see this because when Mitchell walked in with Tito, the raccoon, a real live raccoon. Tito was on uh, Mitchell's shoulder, still is, as he's eating. Chi- what are you? Are you giving him like goldfish? Yeah, he's eating goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> he only gets awesome. those as like rare treats, though. Um, but kind of ex- a special occasion today. Oh, Tito's got like his treat. own Instagram page. Yeah, Tito would, the raccoon. He's got forty thousand followers now. So that's crazy. He's definitely wow. getting up there. Does that surprise you? Yeah, because when I started, I was it was mainly like a place to put my pictures, but now it's kind of evolved way more into that. Um, so yeah. What kind of response do you get from people? Um, a lot of people who like asking how to take care of them because a lot of people like find them in their attics and stuff like that also. And so they're like, how do you take care of them? So I started like a YouTube channel to like kind of show daily life with them and like how to raise them a little bit. So. Does he know any tricks? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, destroy things. <laughs> destroy things. No sit, lay down or anything like that. No, no, no. He doesn't chew wires, does he? Because might be an issue. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> no promises. That is so cool. How do you house train a raccoon? Um, so he he spends like whenever whenever I can't watch him, he spends his time in a, a pretty big cage. It's like eight feet long, seven feet high, and four feet wide. Okay. So it's got a lot of tree branches and stuff for him to climb. But whenever I can, he's always out. So. He's like knock on the sliding glass door to go, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's uh, litter trained. So. Yeah, litter? Okay. Oh. Like, like a cat. cat. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hear that, Jim? Yeah. Hey, you got that popcorn I had down there. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped that three weeks ago, man. Yeah, well, you know. You don't want to give good. the stale popcorn to oh, a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> He'll eat it. He doesn't. I'm sure. Tito the <laughs> raccoon, Mitchell, thanks for the time this morning. Thank you.